confidence in yourself. You're worthy of a great life. Falling in love with yourself. Change in the beginning. Start your day right. Praise yourself every day. Learn to love yourself. Be Aquarius. Swords do not bend. So be that one. I myself, you know, I was strange. Others, you know, I noticed were not exploding with the ideas that I always had. You know, but I learned that I couldn't turn my ideas off. I learned that I was a little bit different. And then for a while, I didn't want to be me, you know. And that was at a very young age. And then I learned that I didn't want to turn off those ideas. And it took me that to learn that I didn't want to be them. I didn't want to be the people that didn't have an idea. I always wanted to be the person with a choice. I always wanted to be the person that had a choice to choose to have an idea and choose to fail and choose to learn from the experience of failing. And I've learned a lot more from failing than I ever did succeeding. I mean, I've succeeded at many things in life, but the failures taught me greater lessons than my success. So I'm thankful for my failures. You know, to learn where is the sweet spot? When does fear win? When does love win? When is enough enough? You know, to change yourself and to adapt. You know, and that's to adapt to your environment. And that was always that learning experience in itself, you know. And it, that's part of the wish fulfillment, you know. To not have anxiety, to not have sleepless nights, to be stable, to be grounded, to stay responsible, you know, to be motherly to yourself and take care of yourself. You know, maybe your parents weren't there, but you that doesn't give you a reason not to take care of yourself. You still have to be generous to yourself. You know, you still have to find, like, the beauty and wisdom inside yourself to, like, stay a solid person, stay a solid individual. You know, and that's in the physical realm. You gotta go to the gym, work out at home. You have to know when to be in a spiritual place with inside yourself but not be like disconnected you can't you can't disconnect yourself from the world you still have to realize you know you're human and you're gonna falter you're gonna make mistakes you know everyone around me has a different perspective and that's okay you know inside yourself you got have to learn temperance for yourself you still have to have hopes, you still have to have fears, you still have to go through love, you still have to embrace all these emotions, you know, there's going to be a rejection, you know, even if you win, you're going to be rejected from a certain crowd, just because you, like, succeed in something, doesn't mean everybody's going to be happy for you, so you have to be able to embrace that side, you know, and you have to have a choice. You can't either self-sabotage yourself or you can become stable and grounded. And you can have a reality and realize these things in personal, business, community, state, whatever region you're in. You know, it's recognizing your talent and being able to take your talent and recognize it and be inspirational and trust in your path and trust in your transformation as a person. You know, facing your fears. We don't like facing those, but you have to face your fears because this is your one life to take that opportunity and do that. So love each other, don't be numb. You know, don't fear, take a chance.